People living on the Fish River in Baldwin County are closely watching the weather tonight. Recent storms knocked down trees that are now blocking part of the river and pulling more debris as waters rise. WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown has a look at the problem and what can be done about it. It doesn't have to be a hurricane or major storm to cause problems for residents along Fish River. A lot of trees in the water, um, a lot of uh, flow being restricted, so uh, the banks are getting a lot of erosion now. Trees that are compromised are ready to fall over. Some, like these, are already in the water, stretched across the river, blocking access. We need help. I can't, I don't have a chainsaw that will do this, nor do I have ropes or a barge to put it on. So it's, it's, it's not just my problem, it's our, all of our problem. Homeowners are concerned about the potential threat of severe weather and the damage it can cause. Flooding in recent years pulls debris into the river, creating even more issues. They say they've reached out to the Army Corps of Engineers for help, but there's been no response. It's totally blocked in these areas. Uh, through almost to Clay City. Boats can't even navigate because the water, the, the silt's filled in. Ben Hudson has lived here for years and says these problems are only getting worse with each storm. The flooding is going to be awful. It's already bad, but it's going to get so much worse. Even though Thursday's weather shouldn't cause major troubles, he's worried about the next storm and the one after that. These residents say a solution can't come soon enough. In Baldwin County, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.